I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create menus and then how to do the SDI versus MDI forms. So I have this toolbox and we can see that in this toolbox we can create menus. Um, so the menus are this little menu strip. So I will drag this up here and I have this menu strip. And now each of the menu headings are right here so I could create this heading so this would be like um, file and then I could have one over here that says window and call it good and then if I wanted to do something like have my cascade and tiling and something I just type those in here like cascade and maybe I'll put in a like a V tile and then a H tile, tile, and then I can put in a separator in here. You'd want to actually type in things, um, make it, oops, make it a little longer, um, but you can put those in there. Drop down now, we got our separator. At this point, I could add in stuff and make it so that this window will show up, but I need to know what my menu is actually called. So the menu you can see is menu strip one. So I want my menu strip one to, well, work with uh, the MDI. So you can have this uh, MDI window list item thing. I click on that. And I can say, okay, we want it to be in the window tool strip menu item. So what that does is that whenever there are MDI items inside of this, when I click the window, they will show up here in the bottom. All right. Now for file, uh, I could create um, some things here. So I'll type in um, new um, SDI and new new MDI and let's say even have a uh, close MDI all right so these are not the kind of menus you want but I'm just showing you how these things will work and in order to make each one of these things work you just double click on it and you can make it work all right so now I want to take this form and I want to change the form so that it is compatible with MDI and you can scroll down and look for some MDI thing and finally say is MDI container you can see that double click that and you can see it changes the background color to this dark gray and now we know that it is MDI container all right now I need to create a couple of well forms so I can have these forms show up so let's go ahead and create a form. So I go ahead and right click here and so um, I, you can't see this is off the screen, but I'm just going to add a new item and my new item is going to be a form and I will call this one, my MDI, well, let's do form. SDI. So this is just what I'm applying on doing normal SDI method. So I'll do form SDI, add that one there, and I will go ahead and add another one, which is going to be my form MDI. So go ahead and add this one. Once again, new item, and this will be a form form MDI. So MDI and SDI. All right. So I got these forms and you can shrink them and make them smaller. I think I'll do that because this looks pretty big and I'll just make it really small. And then I will go ahead and do the same thing with the form SDI. I will shrink it and make it really small so that they can kind of just pop up and then you can just close them as you see fit. So I got these two forms here. Then the MDI and SDI, they can both be closed and everything. And all right, so now I need to create them. So if I go to the file menu and I double click on the SDI, then it gets this thing right here. I can go back over here and I want the new MDI. So double click on that one and I got some code here. And I go back on the form again and do close MDI. I can do that right there. 
Now I also want to do the window. I want my cascade. So that's there. And my V tile. That's right there. And then I get my H tile. And that's right there. So all these tiling things are now in place. I just have to add the code to make them work. The MDI, SDI, all these things are here. So I'll show you what kind of code you want to put in each one of these. Now, if I wanted to keep track of things like, like all my different MDIs and SDIs and so that, I could go ahead and, I don't know, create a variable. So I'll do a private static int, um, let's see, child index. Um, and I will just initialize it is equal to zero. All right. So then um, at this point, um, whenever I click a new SDI, that would be one that's outside of my box right there. And so what you want to do is create your SDI form. So I'll do a form SDI and I'm going to have this be, what do I call it? So my... Um, new maybe there could be options or something like that options or options form all right and then um, it equals my new form sdi and um so at this point um, i just basically create it and and you just need to show it right so that's traditionally what you do you just do form um actually no options form show to make it visible right but sometimes you want to be able to change things after it exits you want to know oh it exited so i can do that right now i can create some kind of a function that i can run afterwards so option option form form closed so whenever the form is closed i'm going to add some code so s comma args and then i do it equals greater than and then i tell it a function to call when i close so i say um refresh um form because i want to refresh my form and then i just run that refresh form so obviously i need a refresh form so I do a private um, void uh, refresh form. So this thing could just be called anytime. Do something. Anytime that it is closed. All right. So that will take care of my SDI tool menu thing. So when I fire it up, it'll just fire up this SDI form. You could be your options button. It could be options page. It can be anything you want. And if you have options, you'd probably want to change some things. And then when you close it or you click OK, you'd want it to come back and then make some changes. So whatever changes you put in there, you have the database. You can do that. For the MDI, I'm going to do that one a little bit different. So I want to create my form. So form MDI, um, and this would be new child or something like that. And um, this is going to be equal to a new form MDI. All right, so I create this child. And at this point, if I wanted to pass in some like, I don't know, the child index, I could do that. Um, so let's do that child index, pass it in. Um, that means I need to go update my code, but that's okay. So I pass it in there. And then it's not quite an MDI form yet. In order to make it an MDI form, I need to change the parent. So I've got my new child. And I'm going to change its MDI parent, MDI parent to equal this. So this current form. And then I show it. So new child show. All right. So I still need to take care of that child index getting passed in there. So I jump over to the MDI one. 
um, and we can change the title or the text here. So I jump in here and load it and uh, I probably want to also create a function. So wait, we already have a function right here. So we want to pass in an int um, form num. So it just knows it's some form number. And then in here we can make some modifications such as changing the text. What are we going to do? We can change it right here. So let's go ahead and change the text. Right here we type in this dot text equals and we'll say um, MDI and then maybe a number MDI plus and then we passed in the form num we just change it to a string and that should take care of that so then we'll see this showing up let's go ahead and save that and jump over a form here and it looks like this has been resolved so we're good there so let's go ahead and start this up just to see what we have so far all right so we see this I go here and I do new SDI and it creates this window out here that is now not embedded it's not inside of it is separate and uh, we can see that it is a form SDI if I do new MDI it puts it inside new MDI new MDI you can see they're all inside and apparently I don't increment my number at all so that's not gonna be a good idea but whatever solve that so we can see that right now we have the SDI's and the MDI's are separate and that's working now inside of here because I'm passing this child index I probably want to just increment it child index plus plus oops wrong plus 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 and there you've got it in there and it should take care of incrementing it and showing the right number the next thing we want to take care of is the other stuff these menu strip things so we've got the close and we have cascade um, v tile and h tile so we want to do the tiling of these things we're going to accomplish tiling with the the layout mdi so right here we have the cascade so i do this dot layout MDI and then I pass it the uh, MDI layout cascade value looks pretty easy and I basically do the same thing for the other ones this layout MDI MDI layout and this is uh, the uh, where is it tile vertical although tile vertical and tile horizontal do kind of look weird so I think I might I don't know you might want to swap them around maybe all right there we go, and then the MDI layout dot tile horizontal, and make sure you close things with semicolons. All right, so that's all taken care of. Now the last thing we do right here is we need to close the active one. So you can do um, we know these are uh, form um, MDI and so I'll just do uh, active form equals and then I want to typecast it to a form MDI, MDI and it's this dot active MDI child so that's the child 
and I get that one. And then once I know which one it is, uh, I can close it. I just want to make sure I'm not picking one that if there are no children, that could be bad. So I just do um, if uh, active form is not equal to null, then we have one. I can do active form close and that will close it and take care of that and then it should be good so let's go ahead and test this code and see if it's working right now so i'll go ahead and start that up and i will pull the program into the window here i'm going to create a couple of new mdis and you can see the numbers are incrementing properly you can see the window cascade they're already cascaded but it resizes them and then i do v tile and then it does a vertical tiling which actually looks like horizontal to me and then I do a horizontal tiling which looks like vertical to me and then you can see all three of these things I can change which one's active by clicking on the number here and then I can go here and do close MDI and since the top one's active it should close that one now the middle one or the top one is active close that one and then close the bottom one so you can go ahead and change these things um, the thing you want to look at maybe about resizing because that does kind of get annoying sometimes you don't really want them necessarily resizing automatically on you you can go into your mdi form design and you can change the form border style sizable i think to uh fix single I think that does it and then start up again and drag this in here and then if I create a couple of new MDIs then I cascade this so cascade V tile or V tile and H tile so that makes it so they don't change sizes on you.